Hey guys, it is Jack here, that vegan dad. So I've decided that I'm gonna go fully whole food plant-based for this next week, try it out. Our diet at the moment is predominantly probably about 85, 90% whole food plant-based as it is, but we do sometimes indulge on those luxury items and mock meats. So I've decided that I want a little bit of a cleanse, try it out and go 100% whole food plant-based for this week my breakfast, my lunch, and my dinners and snacks. I'm really interested to see what this is gonna be like. I have never done this before. Just been to the fruit and veg shop and bought up a bunch of fresh produce ready to go for this little lifestyle change. So I'll just grab this here and take it over and show you what I got. So this is our little haul that I just went and purchased a whole lot of fruit and veg in here. So plenty of broccoli. So we're gonna be doing some broccoli soup. Gonna just be roasting up broccoli and having that as a snack really. Plenty of zucchinis, I love zucchinis. And what we're actually gonna be making is some zoodles, which if you aren't familiar, it's just noodles using the zucchini. So, you know, we might do a bolognese. I'm not too sure what yet. Just got some Brussels sprouts. Also have a lot of quinoa, rice, other fruit and veg still in the pantry ready to go for this week. I am really pumped to give this a shot. So anyway, bear with us and see how this week goes going whole food, plant-based. Alrighty guys. Day one dinner, just put together some zoodles. So all it is, is just some zucchini, grated up into little noodles, little strips, and slightly steamed them to give a similar style to a pasta noodle. So I've also done some bolognese with some lentils, used some diced tomatoes, and a couple other bits and pieces to put together this first whole food plant-based meal. So I'm really keen to try it out. I'll just show you guys quickly what it looks like. Here we go, here. Just the zoodles with the zucchini. So look at that. Not too sure how this will go down. I've never done this before with the zucchini, but I'm sure it'll be a great treat there. So plenty of goodness in there. So that is day one's dinner. guys I just want to show you quickly what I am going to be putting together for my lunches I don't generally have breakfast much anymore so I really jam pack a bunch of food in for my lunch so what I'm going to be showing you right now some overnight oats that I'm going to do with a little bit of fruit and then I'll have some more fruit and then I'm going to have a bit, pretty big substantial lunch meal as well so I just want to show you quickly what I'm going to do for my overnight oats so overnight oats pretty straightforward just got half a cup of the oats, the rolled oats. So I'm just gonna chuck that into this container. And then also half a cup of water. You can put in soy milk or whatever you like. I like my oats with water. And also just some flax over here, just grounded out flax that we keep in the fridge. Just a teaspoon of that. Chuck in some crushed almonds. and some banana in there, and just a handful of the frozen raspberries. So there we go, that is what I'm gonna be chucking into the fridge overnight. That's gonna thicken up quite a lot overnight with that water and the oats are gonna expand, and that is a delicious, quick and easy lunch that I'm gonna probably be having every single day. Probably mix up the fruit, what I'm gonna be putting in there, but predominantly, that's my whole food lunches for the week right there. That was my full week of being whole food plant-based. It was very interesting to trial it out. Like I said previously, 
our family is predominantly about 90% whole food plant-based as it is, but we do love those luxury items every so often. One thing that I got out of this is that you have to eat a lot of fruit and veg to stay fuller for longer, especially if you are running an active lifestyle. If that is some feedback that I can give you guys if you are going to try this, be prepared to make your portion sizes a bit bigger than what you would normally do. Also, I found that making these dinners, these plant-based dinners, was a lot easier in preparation and putting together than what I normally do with my other meals. So that is some sort of feedback for you guys as well to take from this. But if you do give this a shot or if you are 100% whole food plant-based, please let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear your feedback and your comments and really interested to see how other people do this all the time or for a week, whatever. Anyway, if you liked the video, chuck us a like, comment below and subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with more vegan lifestyle videos like this video and some simple and delicious vegan friendly recipes. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll catch you guys next time.